these tiny blood-sucking bugs can carry bacteria, viruses, or parasites, and an infected tick can make you sick if it bites you. You don't need a hazmat suit to protect yourself from ticks, but there are steps you can take. First, cover up. Wear long sleeves and pants tucked into socks to prevent ticks from getting under clothes. Second, apply insect repellent. Use an EPA-registered bug spray with DEET on the skin and use permethrin on clothing and boots. Third, know where ticks are. Ticks live in or near wooded or grassy areas. Walk in the center of trails to avoid contact with ticks, especially during warmer weather. And keep your yard clean. Mow lawns, clear brush, and remove leaf litter regularly. Try to shower within two hours after being outside and make sure to check your entire body for ticks. There's no need to panic if you do find a tick. If the tick is not attached, grab it with a tissue. Dispose of a live tick by submersing it in alcohol, placing it in a sealed plastic bag or container, or by wrapping it tightly in tape. Never crush a tick with your fingers. If the tick has attached to skin, use fine tip tweezers to grasp the tick close to the skin surface. Pull upward with steady, even pressure. Don't twist or jerk the tick. After removing the tick, clean the area with rubbing alcohol. And then be sure to wash your hands with soap and water. And don't forget your furry friends. Check your pets for ticks daily, especially after they spend time outdoors. If you find a tick, remove it right away. Use a tick control product on your pets and talk to your veterinarian about which product will work best for your pets. Talk to a healthcare provider right away if you've been bitten by a tick or may have been exposed to ticks and develop symptoms such as rash, fever, chills, and aches and pains within a few weeks. Early treatment for tick-borne disease can be very effective. To stay up to date and learn more about tick-borne diseases, visit the New Jersey Department of Health Vector-Borne Illness webpage, follow the department on Twitter, and like our Facebook page.